Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. We are going Mr. Fancy Pants today, and you will not believe this knife. Oh my lanta, wait until you see what is in this box. I am getting it out of the box so you can experience what it's like if you were to get this knife. First of all, it comes with a certificate of authenticity. This is the Wii Knife Nexusha. And yes, it has CPM 20 CV blade. You get this fancy certificate with it, and then you get all of the accoutrement that comes with a Wii knife, and you get a couple stickers and all the fun stuff. But let's get down to the nitty gritty, and I'll show you what I've had the privilege of experiencing, which is coming out of this pouch. Oh yeah, right now. Prepare to feast your eyes on knife perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wii Nexusha. At least that's what I'm calling it. And I can't even make a funny right now because I am in absolute awe with the looks, the fit, the finish, the action, everything about the Nexusha. It is absolutely gorgeous. You have a flame anodized pivot with a blue anodized pivot collar. Would you look at it? Just look at it. You also have a flame anodized pivot screw. And look at this side. That is just, uh, the accents on these Wii knives just blows me away. Some folks don't like holes. I don't mind when you have holes like this with all of, all of that anodization and the blue hardware that just makes this an absolute pocket dream, a knife collector's dream. Jimping perfection on the flipper tab. It has a full length fuller. And while we're talking about the fuller, are you ready? Are you ready to see this blade? Pow, right in the kisser. Oh yeah, that right there is the stuff that knife collecting is made from. It has a compound hollow grind that is absolutely gorgeous. CPM 20 CV steel. There is that full length fuller, which just adds to the aesthetics of that beautiful line drawn satin. That is hand polished satin, ladies and gents, and it is just so good that it makes me slow down. I can't even talk as fast as I want to because I want you to be able to soak this up and enjoy this as much as me. Each knife, by the way, is numbered. The jimping up top is jimping perfection. And then you have a large forward choil, a finger choil, a sharpening choil, whatever you wish to call it. This is a hollow grind, by the way. If you can't tell, yes, it is a hollow grind. That hand polished satin just looks so good. Of course it has caged ceramic ball bearings in this captive pivot. And by the way, this is a steel lock bar insert, which is an over travel stop also. You have a very sleek and contoured milled titanium clip, which is absolute perfection. When you look at this knife and how it flows, wait till you see how it looks in my hand, because I can tell you now, the feel is buttery. It has a titanium backspacer with a lanyard hole for all you lanyard lovers. You could put a fancy lanyard on that bad boy. And for all you spec lovers, here's a couple specs for you. Overall, from tip to tip, it's 8.25 inches long. You have a 3.5 inch blade. The sharpen length is 3.04 inches. Your blade thickness at the ricasso up here at the spine is 128 thousandths of an inch. And behind the edge, 18 thousandths of an inch. You have 3.44 inches of usable handle. The pass through is good. And if you can see right here, we have micro milling right there on that lock bar or frame lock, if you will. It's actually a frame lock. I always call it a lock bar you can call it whatever you want it's just done so well and if you look here it's buttery smooth to disengage and unlock it there's just the perfect amount of room from right here it looks like there's not but because you have space in here your thumb just naturally falls to the top and just oh yeah and look at this look at this oh yeah is that not gorgeous the finish on this knife is absolute perfection the fit is equally perfection. There is zero blade play left and right, up and down. It has perfect lockup. The blade is centered. And for the ergonomics, they, they couldn't be better. They are so good in the back position and choked up. And there, there is ample room with this perfect jimping. And yes, I'm using the word perfection and the word perfect because I'm not 
finding flaws. I look for nitpicks. I try to find things to com complain about just so I could say that I'm being objective or I just don't happen to love a particular brand. But when this is what I'm finding out. When I get a wee knife, that I'm finding why you're getting to an upper price point because of so many boxes are checked off that I seem to find with some other knives. Now granted, you're gonna find some knives in a lower price range that have more things that you like, but if you're a knife collector and you want something you can truly have as a showpiece, the Nexusha is one that you will want to show everyone if this is what you like. And there are different versions of this knife. There are five different configurations. Each one of them is a different price, so it's gonna depend. I will have links in the description and in the comment section where you can see the different configurations and what the prices are. If you wanna see a couple size comparisons, I would be glad to do that with another knife from Wii that it's not quite a safe queen, but I tell you what, I'm really careful because I love the aesthetics of this knife equally as much. This is the Wii Magnetron. And then of course, Everyone has or wants to at some point have a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So there's a size reference between the paramili pa Paramilitary? The Paramilitary 2 and the Wii Magnetron. And I'm going to put two more up here real quick just to give you a size reference. Here is the Spyderco PM3 and then the Wii Knife Elementum. So if you have an Elementum from Wii or Civivi, that, that gives you an idea. That is the typical everyday carry size knife. This is a larger knife and it is absolutely dreamy. The action is so good and the flipper tab works so well because it does have that Wii knife perfection of jimping. And oh man, it just comes snapping out. And here's, here's a little bit of acoustics for you. Yeah, it sounds as good as it feels and as good as it looks. So there's the, one of the new limited edition from Wii, the Wii Nexusha. I hope you enjoyed checking this out with me. I'd love to hear your comments all about it. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the giveaways and hit the bell button for notifications. That way you won't miss the live streams and that's where we have all the fun and all the good stuff happens. Make sure you go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. And until I see you in the lives or the comments or the hive stream on Friday nights, Remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.